It's working! The monster is on its way! Uh-oh. Oh no! Now what? I guess we go to the roof! Well, the monster is on its way. I thought it was big before, but now that it's approaching, I'm starting to get a real handle on the scale of this problem. He's way bigger than he was a year ago. All my training tips really helped. Which I see, given the current situation, is nothing to be proud of. But I still am! You'd be so swole right now if you listened to me, detective! If only we were facing him before he bigged up. Hmm, is there a way to rewind time? And undo all my hard work? Ugh. <sighs> Fine, let's go ask around and see if anyone here is a so-called time expert. I wonder if it's the professor named Time Loop. Oh, someone seems to have popped the latch here, thank goodness. That's good for us. Uh, we might want to move quickly. <laughs> professor Time Loop! Say, you don't look any older than you did back when we were in school. Healthy lifestyle and all that, lots of fiber and prunes! Are you sure you don't have some kind of time machine you're not telling me about? Time machine? Ludicrous! Yes! I have a time chamber I invented and I want to brag about it and staying quiet all these years have driven me mad! I need to use it. What? No, I want to brag, not share! Please, there's a giant monster coming to crush us and we need a way to de-age it so we can defeat it. What rubbish! You won't trick me into sharing my machine with a machine with such audacious lies! What if I could prove it to you? Huh, <laughs> sure. Prove there's a threat. Then we'll talk. I mean, just look outside! Even I'm surprised that Eleven worked. Stranger things have happened. Very true. Um... Uh, how doth one prove this? Maybe we take a photo? We have blackout blinds. Is there a camera we can use? Can I just... This should darken the place for us. There we go. Okay, so I need to take a picture. Where can I get a camera? Wait! Here we go. There's a note saying, Gone to develop some pictures. Back in a few, please don't borrow the camera for harebrained scream to prove something to somebody. Yoink! <laughs> they both were like, hell yeah. This is what Dick Brickman gets for not taking me seriously. Smile! Say cheese! Cheese! I, I, I mean, roar! <laughs> that was easy. So, do we show her the camera or what? Oh, I guess we need to get the pictures out? Undeveloped film. I know what to do. Put these in here. No chemicals in there to develop the photos. We need some red light. I don't really know why I'm basing all this off TV and films, but we need it, goddammit. Alright, well, we have some red paint. Roxanne! You don't have to paint on that red light! But we do. And we've got some chemicals. Photo development tray. This stuff should let us develop some photos. Just random chemicals, I'm sure it's fine. Time to develop some pictures. An uncomfortably long amount of time later. Look, the pictures have dried and the images are coming through. By the way, how close is he now? Oh, you're still walking pretty slow. Oh, they're up here. Let's see, yeah, this one should do. There we go. These are some good shots. For your birthday, I'm getting you a camera. You need a hobby outside of Monster of the Weeking. But not just any old camera. I see how you use things once and then throw them away. I'm getting you a disposable camera with 11 of its 12 shots taken. The perfect gift. That does genuinely sound like something the queen would grab in a level, though, so... Perfect gift indeed. Look! See? Photographic proof that a giant monster is on its way here to literally stomp us all out. Snapmate! What? Do you... Do you mean checkmate, maybe? Yeah, I was the president of the chess club when it was shut down, so I think I'd know. I think I know why it was shut down. So you want to hold your up your end of the bargain and show me the time machine? You always were a pain, McLean. Fine, come with me to the science lab! So, what'd you bring me in here to see? Why are you here? Behold, my time machine! You haven't revealed anything? Oh, my bad. Whoa! Behold, my time machine! Ooh! Yes, that is the reaction I wanted! Inside door. There's a flyer for the carnival here. I have a feeling this might be useful. Circus flyer? Ooh! Why are you here? Well, I'll be a yuffo. A yuffo? Yeah, like a kind of spaceship. Dr. Time Loop here is an alien. It's Professor, and I'm not an alien. This isn't a UFO. It's a sort of time machine. 
Ugh, you dorks and your specifics. Let's get to the meat of it. Do we cut the doctor's brain out or not? Again, it's Professor and please don't. Alright, time to use the machine. So a time machine? Not quite. I can't go back in time or anything. It uses more of a stasis organic manipulation energy. I can slow my aging. Can you do other things like speed it up or reverse it? It's theoretically possible, but it is a chamber, not a weapon. I'll need a few things to convert it. A gun barrel to focus the energy through, a laser to guide the shot, and a switch to act as a trigger. Think you can find all that stuff for me? Gun barrel, laser, switch. We're on it. Here, you might need full access to the school. Take these keys. What? No, it's dangerous to go alone. Take these? But you're not alone. Your friend is here with you. I'd have said it's dangerous to travel in groups of less than three. Not so punchy. Alright, thank you. We got the school keys. Yes! He's stepping over buildings now rather than on them. That's something. He's in a hurry. <laughs> okay, we got the staff from- Oh, principal's office. Go in. Okay, Dooley, let's check this place out. I feel like I'm in trouble somehow. You are! A monster's coming to kill you! May he bleep for us all. A hunting trophy. We should take it and set it free. We should. Oh, okay. Notice board. Notes and such for the principal. Expel the following students, all of them. To do, round up all copies of office keys from staff. Can't have the pesky detective coming in here finding all my secrets. And a brown envelope with money. Please pass my son ri- Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thank you for following me on Twitch. I've- <laughs> I've never had that happen where I'm recording and someone follows me. We should confiscate the last one. Yeah, let's take the money. Certificate. Very real certificate for education and stuff. A degree in whatever I need to get this job. If anything, I'd say he's overqualified. Printer. A state-of-the-art dot matrix printer. The school is really on the cutting edge of technology. There's no info on here. It just seems to be used for writing up material for the printer. Okay, we got a fancy chair. The tag says it's filled with baby fat. Which is the fat you lose as a kid before your adult fat comes in. We got a telephone. It's amazing that this device can connect us with any of the tens of phones across the city. It didn't really catch on here as a technology, did it? Plant? A Venus child trap. That's dangerous. Stack of recipes for cooking books. Lots of student info dating back to our time here. There's nothing I want from all this. You sure? You don't want to dig up some previous lost dirt on, say, McKing? Dooley, I've told you before, we can't abuse our power like that. We have swore- You already checked, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. First thing I looked for. I love you, McKing. And McQueen, not McKing. Fuck McKing. Alright, nothing in here right now. But I feel like it wouldn't have been locked if there wasn't something in it later. Let's look in this room. Poster. The four humors and how to balance them. Oh, a laser pen! That's what we need. Used to point at lasers. So close, buddy. So close. Oh, the S! My fund manager used algebra in their investment algorithm, and now I have an assortment of squared letters and very little cash. A poster. Palette of currently discovered colors. Some scientists claim there may be more. These scientists have been locked away. Rightly so. That's my old desk. You can tell from all the gum I stuck under it. It's literally sagging under the weight. It's pretty solidly caked on there. Should be a wonder of the world, the hanging gardens of bubblegum. You're gross, Dooley. A cardboard box painted dark brown. Aw, the poor desk. This is a lot fancier than anything else around here. Don't touch it! Oh! Ah! No children! What the... Mr. Cenobite had it installed to keep us from messing with this nice chair, remember? Oh, dang. Alright, classroom one? Are there only two classrooms in this entire school? Fancy a trip down memory lane, Dooley? What? Well, that does sound nice, Detective, but we really should stay here until that creature is taken care of. Ooh, a fire map. A floor plan of this place might prove useful. We'll take that. It has a skull etched into it and the words, Take me now, Mr. F. This chair looks so comfy, sure, but when you close your eyes, when you get close, you see it's made of concrete. A globe? A perfect replication of the Earth, even down to the plastic base and giant metal arm that holds it in place. A whiteboard? The writing says red marker. A world map? This map has both too many and not enough continents. A desk? These things were so uncomfortable, why did they have little tacks all over them? Hey, I hate to tell you this, but McKing glowed, glued those to your desk. Ugh, that guy. Why has he been tormenting us since we were young? Various school books, nice and neatly organized. 
All right, what else did we need? I can't remember what else we needed. Let's just go up and come back down if we need to. Uh, you needed a laser pointer. Now to name this thing. We need a gun barrel to fire the beam through. We need some kind of trigger. Okay, there's four keys. We used three. Where's the third place we can go to? Oh! Here we go. And now the tools are free to be taken again, just as God intended it. Yes! Okay, a chisel. Oh man, a chisel, chisel, chisel. Did we do a chiseled abs joke in season one? Yeah, bugger. Okay, we've got a chisel, a wrench. It's heart-wrenching when you see normal everyday item being used in an adventure game, isn't it? Absolutely wrenched design. And a screwdriver. This room is killing me with all these repeated items. It's fine. Now we need to figure out what to do with them. I have an idea, but I don't like it. Let's chip some of this off. No! <laughs> oh! How could you? You done? Yes. Ugh. The gum I chipped off Dooley's old desk. That one looks like apple flavor. Oh, and that smells like orange. It's like we're excavating my past. What am I supposed to do with it? Oh! We figured out the paper and printer part of the puzzle, but we need to know what to print first. Hmm. What does it say? A flyer for the carnival, listing their shows and rides, dates- Oh, phone number! We should go there sometime, looks fun! Dooley, we were just there. We investigated all those missing people. I got teleported to a reality game show run by insane clowns! The ghost of Tesla was there! You fired his giant gun! Oh, giant gun, if I can ring Vince, I would ask him to borrow that. There should be a phone in the principal's office. Oh, okay. Oh, God, that was loud. Lady Farnival's frivolous carnivals. Vince, it's Detective McQueen here. I need you to bring Tesla's ray gun to Twin Lakes High immediately. Police business. Give me a second to face mask. Ask. <laughs> Queen and throne telephone. He says you can baby cab pit. Have it. On one nuclear fission. Condition. He wants you to make sure any cap and coat hooks, school books, there, that say he fermented, authentically invented electricity, and not space medicine, Tommy Edison. Oh god, I just had a stroke. Sure. Starship Trooper, super, I'll put it on the rubber duck, truck, and get it to you clippity-clap, ASAP. Alright, so this is what this is for then. Yeah, so we can rewrite history. Usually when maniacs are making demands, they're threatening you with ray guns, not giving you ray guns. You do what we gotta do, Dooley. You received item, revised history printout. What do we do with this? Labels clarifying Edison's place in electric history and stating he was a doo-doo head. There we go, what do we do with that? Put it in the classroom, maybe? Oh, these are the books we need to alter for Tesla. I guess we should print out some updates. Paper keeps falling out. I need to find a way to gummy them up. Oh! The gum is too solid. I need to heat it up or something. I could rechew it. <laughs> yeah, let's just... No, you don't know who's been there in the <clears throat> years since it's been. Let's... There's a microwave. We'll use that and make it everyone else's problem. I can't believe we're about to heat your old chewing gum. Do you think it could come to life? I didn't think I was ready to be a dad, but microwaving your own mastication paste really changes a guy, you know? Don't say it like that. All right, we got reinvigorated gum. Put that on. I'm so proud my mouth babies are all grown up and working in academics, no less. Please don't, 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 don't. Boom. Let's get to facing. Just like in high school. We didn't deface books in high school. You're right, we didn't. Alright then, I think it's done. Oh my goodness, hello. Perfect, just what we need. Snappity yelp. Happy to help. Thanks Vince, comically large barrel. There you broken car are. I brought that nun Carol gun barrel for you. I hope you've erased your looks to face those books. It's sticky bun. Done. Are you making fun of me? What? No, I was- wait, did you not rhyme that last sentence? No, this is serious business. I'm out here burying my soul, my art, and you're making fun of me? No, that's not- that's not happening at all. I thought it was just, you know, a nice gesture. I'm sorry, my bad. You can English more? 
Sure? Yeah, of course, I wouldn't do anything to purposefully hurt you. Smiles and Pixel. Aw, they had a moment. Dooley was even standing back. Alright, we have the gun barrel. What's the last thing we're missing? I don't remember. Here. <laughs> okay, this should let us shoot the time gun. Oh my god, we need some kind of trigger. Uh, a wrench? Don't get cramped. Hmm. Hey, guy. The control lever for the sprinkler system. Why are you sharing all this random info? Maybe we can use it as a trigger for the time gun. Oh, it won't budge. I need some sort of tool to loosen it. Wrench! Should loosen the lever so we can take it. Let's hope there's not a fire. <laughs> oh. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. This situation is all fine. Here we are. A trigger for our time gun. Think we're ready to fire. The laser is right on him, detective. Ready when you are. So, time loop. This time machine and you never getting old. It looks good on you. Okay, on three. Three? Now really isn't the time, Kingsley. Two? Oh no. Maybe we can get coffee or something. Catch up. You're married! No, the king, don't lean on the trigger! Uh-oh. God. Oh no! Is everyone okay? What happened? Your stupid gun. It made us all young again. You're the one who flipped the switch from focus to spray. Why did you get a switch with the spray option in the first place? Children, please! You've been de-aged! That will apply to your hormones as well! You're teenagers in every possible sense! He started it. We were only meant to reverse time by a year! What happened? I think that when your friend slipped, he grabbed the time dial to steady himself, thereby doubly screwing us all! I couldn't risk falling and looking not cool. I think we agree it was a worthwhile sacrifice and that this is all still somehow solely McQueen's fault. Fuck you, McKing. We're all babies. I'm less impressed with it now. What do we do now? I did not expect this outcome. This is the most interesting reunion I've been to in decades. Where? Where's my mustache? You better fix this, McQueen, and fast. I'm not going through puberty a second time. Uh, what do we do? What happened to everyone else? Where is everyone? My old locker! Wait, what's this? Francis, do you like me? Oh! Patrick Dooley! Yes or no? Yes! Ha! You have a girlfriend! Wait, who is it? It's you! Uh, what do we do? Oh! Oh no, it happened to everyone! Give them back! For the one billionth time I don't have them, I never had them! Then where did all my models go, huh? Hmm, looks like these folks are reliving some childhood problem. I hope that's not the case across the school. Where do we go? Can I go in here? Hmm. Everything is... So did everyone get changed back? That's not good. Ugh, stop that! Sorry, McQueen. Oh, he's got so much acne. Oh, little Brickman! Exclusive scoop for the school project! I came back to Lulu to find my camera had been stolen and everyone was young again! I need to cut back on my Corona Fiber if I'm going to excrete out a few years with each movement. Okay, oh no! Mr. Fjord, I'm young again? Please don't make me do this all over again! I was so close! Oh wow, if we've gone back in time, I can get to Kingsley before his wife does! Please! Ophelia, you don't want to be with Kingsley. He was already trying to cheat on his wife. Oh no, I'm too young to work in my shop now. Oh no, I, could sw I couldn't swim at this age. How will I get home? Not now, Gabby. How will I make good investments with this childish palette? Oh no, not the stock market. What the heck? Now that the candidates have presented themselves, you may use your pencil pads to vote for your Maytime witch. Which, for some reason, your class never voted on. But the gods have seen it fit to fix that by making us young again. Those pranksters are probably just hungry for blood. So cast your votes and then pop them in the sacred ballot box. Sir? Sir? Yes, what is it? Sir, there is no ballot box. Oh, now I remember. Your year was the last year we ran this and we couldn't complete it because the box was missing. Drats. Are you sacrificing students? Eh, while we wait for me to remember where the box was, why don't you lovely contestants tell us about yourselves? A voter? Who are you gonna vote for? 
I don't know, which one was the best birthday gifts? That seems like a good sacrifice to me. Candidate number two, so... He could push a cantaloupe out with those haunches! What is happening? I've worked so hard to get here. Do you know how many versions I had to deflower to be one of the final three Maytime candidates? This is all so exciting. You're not worried about being sacrificed? Of course not. These things are decided in smoky back rooms. I've just no hope. Just, but just to be here, it's liberating. The others don't stand a chance. I'm from a short line of sacrificial students. Short line. Oh, hey, Vince. Whoa, I'm a little dipper. Nipper. Uh, and hen. Again. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's getting late. Great. I can, I can teeth discreetly. Breathe so deeply. This time I'm pulling a hoax. Staying off the smokes. Oh, glad to have helped. Uh, to the field. Oh, my. Hey, Fern. I'm not keen on this development. A springboard? That board! We could use its panels to start building a cage for Joff somewhere! But you cannot take the board below it! The board belongs to the act! We shall be incomplete without it! If we want those plates, I guess we know what we need to do. Fight them? No, Dooley! We'd never win that! Now we need to help them complete their... whatever they're at. Hmm. Oh, hey, Marv! I don't know what's after happening, but thankfully I had a smaller pair of headphones on hand. Oh my god, there he is! Hey, Jeff. Hey, Patrick. This is awkward. I'm just gonna say it. This is awkward! Nah, nah, man. It's... You good? It's good. So, uh, I don't want to go back. I want to live here with Dooley. Yeah, alright. Dooley, aren't you forgetting something? I doubt it. I'd remember if I was forgetting something. Patricia and Buzz? Ugh, they sound awful. I'm kicking them out as soon as we get home. The stalking? It's flattering! And the destruction this guy caused across the city? That one's not my fault. I was just so mad and strong for being big. I get pretty mad, you know? And apart from Dooley, I hate humans, so you see? Not my fault. But hey, we all have our issues, am I right? I once saw Patrick here eat an entire box of haunted donuts. Man, I had diarrhea for days? Okay, let's go home, Dooley. I don't know, all that stuff is pretty bad. And I like living with my sister and nephew. Bruh, this guy gets it. Hey, I like them too. I'm starting to remember why I left in the first place. It'll be different this time, Patrick, I promise. You're going to be a nicer person. What? No, I just won't let you leave again. <laughs> nicer person. Not possible. Sorry, guy, but you're going home. You can't make me do nothing if you can't catch me. Uh-oh. Hmm, he's gone. If we want to catch him, we're going to need to build a trap. Oh, that's why we were building a trap. What on about the roof? We're so little! Oh, hello, Crow! Hey there, little fella! Caw caw! He seems a little distressed. Caw! Are you lost? <laughs> no. Oh my god, Detective, it's Victoria! <laughs> what? Play it cool! I don't have them! Don't have what? His stupid models! Yeah, stupid models! No, I mean, I wouldn't use his dumb philosophers! They were underpowered! When I clashed philosophies, I clashed to win! Yeah, of course. Models are cool. What? And so is winning. We win all the time, right, Detective? Uh, right. So if you didn't borrow them, who did? I think it might have been my boyfriend at the time. Wait, weren't you dating? Yes. <laughs> Jeremy Snow. The boy who drank so much milk, he... Turned into a crow! <laughs> Sorry, what now? Didn't Jeremy Snow just move schools? Oh, Detective, that's just the lie that Big Milk wanted you to believe. Uh, moving on, where would Jeremy have put them then? Don't say in his nest, don't say in his nest, don't say in his nest. In his nest? <laughs> Damn it, me! <laughs> Let's uh, check his locker, baby. Which one was his? <laughs> I guess we could check the school records. Uh, principal's office. We could look in the principal's office. Let's see. Let's see if we can find out where Jeremy Snow's locker was. Aha! It was down in the changing rooms. Changing rooms. Just like how he changed it to a crow. This investigation is bringing back some horrible memories, detective. Wait, if he turned into a crow, isn't that the crow on the roof? There's Jeremy's locker. Oh, right next to mine. Now I remember. We need to find the key. Oh, there's a key? What does the milk say? Milk liberated from the staff fridge. 
It belonged to nobody, so it belongs now to us. Or does it belong to the crow of Jeremy Snow? Do you want this? Here you go, wee fella. Ha! Loves his milk or Jeremy. Whoa! Well now, there you go. He's giving us something. Looks like a key. Ka ka! You're welcome, Jer. Small key. Thank you, Jeremy. I love your hair. It's beautiful. What product do you use? I want it. Alright, here we go. Jeremy's locker. Let's see what's inside. Oh! You received an item, a box of stuff. Box full of junk, including war game miniatures. Alright, I guess we take them back to the other peeps. Are these what you're looking for? Aristotle, Immolate Conton, Voltaire, John Headlock, Confucius! None of those were a match for my Viking space communist, Jarl Marx! The box isn't mine, though. Who wants a storage box with a hole in the lid? <gasps> Ballot box! All this talk of philosophy makes me want to live in the moment. Want to leave all this behind and go make out with the bike shed? With? You mean behind? I said what I said. You in? Sure. Oh, Dooley, I'm sorry. Oh. After all that, they left the models behind. Can I take them? They didn't even take these in the end. Oh, well, I'm sure we can find a use for them. Okay, we got that and the box. Ballot box. Could prove useful. Sacred ballot box. Uh, so what do we use this for? Here you go. Is this what you're looking for? Aha, the sacred ballot box. I found the ballot box, everyone. What? All by myself, too. Now vote so we can crown the Maytime Witch and get this sacrifice underway. Wait, what? And the votes are in. Candace, you're the new Maytime Witch. Oh, I'm so thrilled! Are your affairs in order? Have your parents signed the consent form? You know, I'm getting a memory of hiding this box way back when. Now that that's over, I need to get rid of this damn knife before it can be used to incriminate me or something. Hold this for me, will you, Mc... Uh... McSpleen? McCobb? McKing? Uh, boy? Hold this for me, boy. I got a ceremonial dagger. Father would be so proud if he hadn't been thrown into a volcano to appease the fire gods, that is. Oh! I'm just gonna take these now. We got some pencils. I have a lot of things that I don't know what to do with. What do you guys need? This is a, this lot are having healthy reactions to being young again. Getting out and enjoying some exercise. Behold, mortals! Mortals? We have reformed in new youthful vigor. Past lives of housewifery and office buildings and motherhood and law firms are behind us, forgotten like so many routines. In our reformation, we shall recreate the masterpiece of our youth, our magnum opus, the human pyramid. Soon the last piece shall be brought to us, and we have been brought together. The apex is near, we can feel it. The horned gods shall join us, climb us, and from up on high, reach for the very stars themselves. So this? Don't want to flunk out of this case. So we need to make a mascot. I have an idea. Statued school mascot. Can't believe we had to scam our way back here twice. Oh, we did? Should be able to cut some of this material down. Yes! That way, we make this mascot. That's it! May he bleat for us all. Now what do we do with it? The Horned God. May he bleed for us all! I clicked on the door again! <laughs> Getting bamboozled. Mascot? It's not an A-grade solution. Do I wear it? Dually. Right, put this on. No way, is that- Yep, you're the Twin Lakes Horned God. Enjoy it. I'm so excited. I tried out for this every year of high school. I know, buddy, I know. Oh my god. How do I look? Devilishly good. Now I just need you to somersault on top of that inhuman pyramid so they'll let us take that springboard, okay? I guess. Should be easy enough. Okay, Patrick, you trained for this. D -d -d Ten years ago, maybe, but still. Okay, here goes nothing. Woo! I did it! Look at me, detective! I'm on top of the world! Well done, buddy. We did it! We are complete! Take that, Jenny Walker! We did not need you to achieve the sacred simple. <laughs> Oh no. 
What the? The Eye of Horus? I can see a lot of hands reaching out of that, Detective! They've been inviting us to join them, but I'm not entirely certain that's a great idea. I mean, it might be, I just don't know. Uh, um, um... Can I just take the panels now? Yes, pathetic being, we are complete. Even now, the end times crest the mountains at the edge of the world. In the coming world of screaming and crying and cheerleading, there is no need for a springboard. Thanks? Alright. I don't think I can stay up here much longer. No, we must hold the shape, maintain the gate. We are the key. Nope, sorry, down I go. Oh. Well. Well, no matter, <laughs> no wonder they picked me to be on the squad. I have terrible balance. Still, nice to finally close the chapter of my life. And nice to not have that invertedly open portal, whatever they were talking about while getting what we needed. No, I think my thing, the lifelong closure thing, is more important. Yeah, than the Eye of Horus or whatever that was. Are they okay? Ugh, my head. Girls, I miss cheerleading, but I do not miss the hive mining or the portals to other worlds. Tell me about it. That's why I got out of it. Anyway, same thing next reunion? Yeah! Of course. Go, Goatman! Go, Goatman! <laughs> Hmm. Oh, hinges! Watch out, everyone! What? What's wrong? The doors, they're unhinged! Ha, ah, that's pretty good, actually. Better than your handle joke. What was that? Nothing! Oh, so you did get it. You were just being a jerk. They look better this way? They have a certain flow to them, alright? Okay, we have hinges. Can we use those on the panels? Hmm. Hmm, what are these miniatures for? Handful of warmongering models in the style of warring philosophers. Now unwanted, it seems. And a fire map. Hmm. Boop? Oh, maybe we can use these to plan a trap, but we'll need to know where we want to lure him first. Floor plan of the school grounds. Where are we trying to lure him? Oh, maybe we could use this? An incomplete workshop project. Looks like a submergible. Do you think they were- okay, underwater record. Oh, the monster! We need to complete it, though, before luring him here. That means finding a hinge to reconnect the door and some metal panels to patch up these holes. Perfect thing. Could use these hinges to reattach the door to our trap. A trap door. Don't you open that trap door, because there's something down there. I'm gonna have to open it, though, to trap the, the, that little guy. Oh yeah, of course. Songs can only get us so far in this case. All right, the door's back on. We just need some metal panels to patch up the remaining holes. We got these. Let's patch up this beast. There we go, including a way to trap and lock him in. I'm proud of us and whatever kids managed to finish this, this didn't manage to finish this themselves. We just need to coat the entire thing in lead now so it blocks the time energy when we reverse to the blast. Ah, those are these four. Let's color this in. Arts and crafts time, yes. Those poor pencils. Oh my goodness. And it's ready to go! So now do we use this? Okay, with the box ready, let's use these to make a plan to chase him into the workshop. Oh, we need to plan to corral him into the sub. We can use this map and these models to plan a route that forces him into it. We're gonna need some help, though. Let's get Time Loop, the AV Club, Vince, Brickman, and... We have models for one extra person. Jeremy? He pretty much owes us, and I'm guessing his schedule is pretty much free. Plus, it's hard to make new friends when you're older, especially if you spent the last while as a bird. It might do him good to stretch his we his legs. Well, okay, let's round them all up off camera and get to the mini game. Okay. Hmm. So do we? So we need to get him from. What if I? Put... Go? Wait, who's chasing him out from under the bleachers? Oh, okay, wait. So we need someone to chase him out from under the bleachers. Then he'll go that way. He's got out the window. Okay, so... Block this. Oh. Ran off the school grounds. Block. What about now? Uh, 
Uh oh, roof access. He got out a window. Okay, wait, so what if we put that ladder down? Do you want Jeff sleeping on your couch? Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. I was wondering why we were playing with dolls. Miniatures. Tiny dolls with no moving parts. Damn it, you're not wrong. <laughs> If we put that ladder up, because we can do that. I was wondering why they wanted us to do that. It was for a reason. Hi, Jeremy. Okay, pull the chain up. You don't have to tell me you know. I can see you doing it. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. We need to get him to the workshop. Alright, so... Let's see. Let me press go now. Let's see. Hey! I thought that would help! Uh... Okay, what if I... We need someone right there. Put someone right here. Okay, um... Block that? What about that? Block that. You just looped back around to the start. How did you do that? We need someone right here. Uh, someone right here. Right here. And can we get you and put you right here? Or does that screw things up? Oh, 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 oh! Got him! And now I just have to close the door in. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong place for that. Oh no, hang on. We need- we actually need to be over there. He runs to the first room, so we don't need to block him, right? Because he'll just go in there. <gasps> yes! Hey! Man, this detective guy is really harsh in my buzz. I can't rescue Dooley with him on my tail. Oh, I can hide in here. That should lose him, the dork. Do it! Yeah! Gotcha! Mm, this suggests this hasn't worked out so great for me. We have him! Hit the reverse beam, Professor! Here goes nothing! Yay! <laughs> ah, that feels better. I don't know, it was sort of nice not being tired all the time. Oh yeah, my knees are suddenly very stiff again. Maybe we shouldn't have- No! My time machine, my eternal youth, get your own. Aww! <laughs> Right, we need to get this guy somewhere safe. I know just the place, but we need a way to fly there. I came in the police copter, it's on the roof. You came in the police copter? Well, it's the mayor's is in the shop. Don't the police need the police copter? Nah, I had a word with crime, told them to take the night off. You told crime, all of crime, to take the night off? Yeah, or else I was gonna bring them in, all of them. We should probably get going. Then get to the chopper! <laughs> This is ridiculous. Enjoy it, detective. This might be the only time we get to fly in one of these. You right, you right. Fine. Where are we taking him? Oh, just into the ocean? This is it. What, here above the ocean? Don't worry about it, just release it. Where's he going? New Atlantis! <laughs> oh! Oh, friendship! Well, hey there, fella. A friend of mine said you needed a place to stay while you worked through some boundary issues. We love you, Nigel. Sometime later. Oh! <gasps> we have our place back! Well, here we are. Oh, yay! The Dark Side Division is back! That's all the boxes moved in. There are a load more boxes in the co- Yup, fully moved back in. Feels good to be home. Work home, not real home. Not like important home. Uh-oh. I thought I heard some rats scurrying about in the basement. This- This isn't the basement. We're right next door to your office. Hey, stop now. I didn't come here to make fun of you, even though I missed doing that, and for some reason, and that reason alone, I missed having you around. So, I got you something. After all the stuff at the school, I spoke with the mayor and the chief of police, and we all agreed. The city's safer with you nerds looking into that stupid not-real, not-crimes that are beneath a super cop like me. So, drumroll, here you go. Whoa! Reinstated? 
Yay! McQueen did a- or McKing did a nice thing! Who would have guessed? Oh man, that was so cool! Oh, that was just as much fun as the first game. Maybe even a little more fun. They put a lot of effort into those, and that made them really long. I might have to split this one up into two different episodes, possibly. I'll just need to- Oh! I'll just need to find a place to split it to figure it out. Um, but either way, this was so much fun. That was really cool. All oh, the little gremlins with the technician! Oh man, this was a blast. I love this game so much. We still have two bonus missions, though. I wonder what those are gonna be about. Of course it was McKing that caused that problem, though. I'm not surprised. It's always him. Ew! <laughs> All the different ones. I wonder what those two are going to be about. It's nice that the Dark Side Division was reinstated, though. I'm very happy about that. In memory of Thomas Conway. Aww. And look at all those Kickstarter backers. And it's really cool to think about because Coffee Talk has them in it. Uh, McQueen and uh, Dooley, they're in it. That's really cool. Oh, look! Oh, it's a high school photo. What a bunch of nerds. Except for Professor Time Loop, she still looks exactly the same as she did before. Which, honestly, understandable. Powerful. <laughs> Get, making her own time machine and not letting anyone else use it. It's a bad, though, that I wanted her to let Fern use it. Poor Fern feels like they've been suffering enough. Oh, it's my favorite couple. I'm so glad we just got to see more of Roxa in this, too. Of course she would end up dating a ghost. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. But I don't think that, that, I don't know. That was just really cool. I like how she was like, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Please don't do anything about it. But we were dealing with something way worse. Oh, hi Tesla. Thanks for letting us borrow your ray gun for time travel purposes. The second time we've had to borrow it actually. We love the credits. Robert Tormented Thompson. That's the first name I saw. Oh, if I had to choose a favorite, hmm. I don't know, I really liked the one in Ireland. I thought that one was really cool with all the mystery and finding all of the other things. You know, like all of the different people hiding in the castle, that was really cool. I also really liked the atmosphere of that one, that was really cool. But bringing Dooley back was also fun too, although I did not like the uh, billboard section where you're like putting all the yarn and stuff and trying to figure out where they are. Oh no, what happened? Speaking of Ireland. Oh, that was the rocket we launched! No animals were harmed or jokes used in the making of this game. All events depicted within are fictional except for one. You know the one. We can't stop you pirating games, but now that every time you pirate a game, a company adds microtransactions, also don't come to us with bugs in your stolen copy again. By reading these credits, you've given us consent to use your dreams in whatever way we want. Whatever way. Oh god. They've taken my dreams. Those were already long destroyed. It's okay. <laughs> Woo! Jeremy! <laughs> we love Jeremy. <laughs> the fumble in the dark. How awesome. Ah, watched the credits watched. Division reinstated. Ah, yeah. What does it say? Some embarrassing teenage antics saved the city from destruction at the hands, tentacles, of a jilted friendship. It seemed more like an abusive relationship to me. So as you know, we already did the Ghost of Christmas Past. Um, I'm never gonna file a report on this one. I don't think the chief would even believe me. Understandable. We've got one flew into the cuckoo's nest and tales from the dark side. Both of those sound very exciting, so those are gonna be the last ones, and then we're done with the Dark Side games, which is really sad, but also awesome that we're gonna beat both of these games. Um, so, that was wonderful, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to get into these bonus missions, but that will have to wait for next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself, remember to check your levers before you pull them, and have a good day.